Hello and welcome to the menu section of the Magneto tutorial series. Each time you create an application from scratch, the menu selection pop-up will appear. This pop-up allows you to choose between the fast menu and the advanced custom menu, with examples shown here. To start with, let's examine the fast menu. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using a sample template. The fast menu is a pre-formatted bulleted style menu that's great for beginners. It allows you to quickly design a stylized menu that will contain links to the main pages in your application. Like its name, the fast menu style makes it very quick and easy to create your menu. First, you'll want to upload a header by selecting the Add Header button. This will open the gallery pop-up. By default, it will bring you to the My Images section of the gallery, where images that you've uploaded have been stored. From here you can select a header to have it applied or upload an image from your machine by selecting the Browse button. If you'd like to use a stock image from our gallery, select the Category drop-down and then select a category. Browse through our selection of images to find the one you like, select it to apply, and hit close. You can overlay text on top of your header by typing into the header text box. You can also change the font color by selecting the font color radial. If you do not like the headers provided in the gallery, or you'd like to create your own, visit the graphic generator located inside the gallery to create your own header graphic. For more information on this, see the graphic generator video of the Magneto tutorial series. Getting back to our menu, you can also add bullets by selecting the Add Bullet button, and again selecting from the gallery pop-up. The bullets are these little guys right here. Next, you'll want to name the menu items, which will also change the name of the page in the Pages section. If you'd like your application to be able to be shared, select the Add Telefriend option. This will add an option to the main menu that will allow your users to share your application with their contacts. By default, the font size is always set to small. However, if you'd like larger text, simply select the Large option from the Text Size drop-down. And just like the header text, it's possible to change the font color by selecting the font color radial, and then selecting a color from the wheel. Lastly, you can change the background color to a solid color by selecting the background color radial, and once again selecting a color. Or, if you'd like a background image, as is seen here, select the Add Background button, and again, select your image from the gallery pop-up. That's it for the Fast menu. Let's take a look at the Advanced Custom menu. The Advanced Custom menu, seen here, is essentially a text page, and can be edited and formatted as such. Because of this, you have all the benefits of a text page, such as adding visual content like images or video, as well as adding links to other pages, to phone numbers, or to an external website. This is an example structure taken from one of our templates that uses the Advanced Custom menu feature. The header image, along with all of the buttons, are images added from the gallery via the Add Image button. You could also add in video or text to spruce up the page or to help deliver your message. Once you have the page stylized by adding your images, video, and text, as well as customizing your background or background color, you're ready to move on to linking your pages to the Advanced Custom Menu. It should be noted that any pages in your application must be sorted in the Subpages category in order for the Advanced Custom Menu to work. To link your pages to the Advanced Custom Menu, first select the image or text that will act as the link. Select text by highlighting it, and select images by holding down the mouse button and dragging slightly until the image turns blue, as seen here. This lets you know that the image has been selected. Once the image is selected, click on the small link icon to link to another page. From here, Choose the page that you would like to link to and hit OK. You can repeat this process to add the click to call feature or a link to an external website. Clicking on an image will allow you to view any links that are associated with it. As you can see, this image is linked to the About page. If you no longer desire the image to be linked, select the Break Link button. Or, if you just like to change it, select the Edit Link button. In the Pages and Subpages headers, you will find the list of your pages. Any pages that have links will have the chain link on them. Selecting the chain link 
will pop down the list of links that are linked to from this page. That's everything you need to know about the Advanced Custom Menu. The rest is up to you. To finish off this tutorial, let's take a look at how to switch between the menu styles. To go from a fast menu style to the Advanced Custom Menu style, the first thing you'll want to do is add a blank page. This page will eventually act as your custom menu. Next, you'll need to move all of your pages to the Subpages category. To do this, just click down and drag. Once you've moved the last page, the system will prompt you to activate the Advanced Custom Menu. Select OK to confirm. The Advanced Custom Menu has now been activated and ready for you to stylize. If at any point you decide to revert back to the Fast menu, simply select the Revert button. Click OK to confirm. And again, drag your pages back to the Main Pages category. And that's it! If you have any additional questions, please visit the FAQ section of our website. If you require additional assistance, or your question's not listed, click the Feedback tab and send us a note. That's everything! My name is Anthony, and thanks for listening, and don't be afraid to get creative.